Thanks for coming. It's over here. May I say, you're looking particularly... Help me with my husband, or I will nut you. <laughs> you know what? When you say... I don't say I look beautiful when I'm angry. I wasn't going to. Oh, God, look at him. Now oh, he'll be all right. Just leave him. No, if this carries on, he'll have to go back to the city. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That'll be the best place for him, you see. Oh, Justo's got what we country folk know as, uh, the madness. The what? The madness! Yeah, yeah, so you said, but what is the madness? His entire soul has been engulfed by the unutterable boredom of the great British countryside. <laughs> the madness settles upon the sufferer like a maiden's tear on a silken kerchief. I've seen it before. And it's not pretty. Oh, God. I'm going to phone a hospital. I'd advise against that. Why? It's 35 miles away. Well, we can drive there. And it's shut in 1963. <laughs> oh, God, well, that's it. Then it'll have to go back to London. What a crying shame. What a crying shame. It'll be difficult for you alone. But, yep, 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 you're right. You'll have to send him back. But still, maybe some knight in shining armour will come along and... Ride you like a kiddie's tricycle. Well, silly, if Justin goes, I'm going too. I beg your pardon? We both leave. Oh, well, yeah, well, what I forgot to mention is, oh, Justo's going to be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen the madness before and I can deal with it for you. Why send for an expensive psychiatrist when you've got the uh, country expertise and know out of race Sunnyside on site? Are you sure? Oh, yes. All right, but if it's not better by tomorrow night, we're going back. Agreed. Come on, darling. I'll have finally tuned my bonkers treatment skills by then. And no brutal country methods. Of course not. Ramming a pitchfork up his yoghurt pot was never even in the running. <laughs> right. There must be something here psychobloody logical. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. The man who mistook his wife for a hat. Now that's what I call pissed. <laughs> oh, here we go. Practical Psychotherapy by Emil Hartman. Right. The Female Eunuch by Jermaine Greer. <laughs> Four. Result. <laughs> Ken? Ken? Where are you, Ken? Right. <laughs> Time for a bit of research. The Female Eunuch by Jermaine Greer. Jermaine Greer. I can just see her now. Little Jermaine in a little red leather miniskirt. Frilly white socks. Typing away with a long painted fingernails. Oh, hello. Yes, I'm Jermaine. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not as innocent as I look. What? Hey! <laughs> what are you doing in there, you stupid switch? Seeing what it feels like to be things. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of things? Shoes. <laughs> and what does it feel like to be shoes? Shoey. All oh, right, and what do the slippers feel like? Slippery. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Oh, my profound apologies, Kenneth. What are you reading? Just some literature. Oh, can I read that one? Nope. Why not? Because you can't read. How dare you? I can read, you stinker. Go <laughs> on, then, Dr Brainy Balls. You ready? Oh, on tender hooks. The dog said no, but the queen said yes. Mm, then. And then they all went home <laughs> and went to the zoo. Very good. So that's what Professor Emil Hartman of the University of Wisconsin has to say about the influence of the subconscious on the psyche. I'll just go to bed then, shall I? 
I think it's for the best. Come here, Jermaine, you little sex pixie. Right, here we go. The ideal of altruism is possibly a high one, but it is unfortunately chimeric. Type Jermaine as she sat in her lacy knickknocks. She crossed and uncrossed her life, tan legs and undid another button on her blouse and she added, we cannot liberate ourselves and we cannot act in defiance of our own motivations. Oh yes, she is hot. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Instinctive creatures. Yep, 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 yep. Servant of the species. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Practical psychotherapy. <laughs> Look, will you stop doing that? Mr Sunnyside will be here in a minute. Hello, Kitty Winkies. Want to come over and milk the bull again? <laughs> Fret not, fair maiden. I'm now going to fix your rather wobbly husband. OK, so what do we do? Well, what it seems to me we should do is have a Freudian, Jungian therapy session where we explore our feelings of denial and guilt transference. OK. In the nuddy. <laughs> what? All right. Not in the nuddy. Let us have an initial exploratory exercise as a group. And then we can bring Justin in. Kenneth, what were you like as a child? Littler. <laughs> no, you stupid curry. I mean, you know, when we was with Dad and that. Exactly. Ken, you imagine you're a child and... Actually, no, Ray. Imagine you're in childhood. Imagine you're your father looking down at me, the young Ray, OK? Yeah, all right. So, um... Dad, I've got my shirt dirty and... Have you? Why doesn't that surprise me, eh? Hey, 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 you spineless, witless, worthless, snivelling, bed little runt! Do you hear me? <laughs> you want some, eh? You want some? You want some? We didn't really get on. <laughs> well, that was, um, interesting. Maybe you should uh, turn your attention to Justin. So, what do we do? The way I see it is the human brain is like um, an air traffic control system, making sure all the thoughts go at the right place at the right time without crashing into each other. Go on. Well, what has happened in uh, Justin's case is that uh, the air traffic controller is drunk. <laughs> and uh, so um, all the aeroplane thoughts don't know where to land, making him mental. Right, that's it. Hey, wait, 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 wait. There is something else we could try. What? We could torture him. What? <laughs> well, all the other bollocks didn't work, did it? Right, that's it. I'm going to book a cab. I'll get the kids ready. Justin. Just um, can't you see how worried I am? I desperately, 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 desperately want to shag your wife. <laughs> Don't take her away from me. Please, I'm begging you. Pull yourself together! <laughs> what's, what's, what's going on? Have I been asleep? I feel really weird. Red Adair's danglers! I'm sweating, well done it. Look, if Wendy asks, I was Mr. Psychological Genius, OK? Justo, you're back with us. What happened? Oh, yes. I didn't want you to see. It wasn't pretty. I had to delve into the darkest corridors and alleyways of his psyche. 
Didn't I, Ken? Yeah, he did. I had to use all the... And I went with him. Yeah, all right. It was dark and scary, and there was something dripping. Plink, plink. And I nearly got lost. I had to shout for help. I went like this. Listen. Ray! 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 Help! 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 And then this big creature with big buggly eyes and eight... Ken! Cats! <laughs> <laughs> Quick for a man of his build. You go upstairs, darling. Listen, Ray, I'm really, really grateful. Why don't you come round for drinks later? Yeah, ta. Yeah, and listen, if there's ever, ever anything I can do for you, you only have to ask. Well, if anything occurs, I shall let you know. Right. Me on top, handcuffs, French-made yoghurt. Her on top, wonder bra, cucumber. And if the old fella laughs out, me on top again, straight. No message. <laughs> It'll be difficult for you alone, but yep, 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 you're right, you'll have to send him back, but still, maybe some knight in shining armour will come along and ride you like a kiddie's tricycle. <laughs> Silly, if Justin goes, I'm going too. I beg your pardon? We both leave. Oh, well, yeah, well, what I forgot to mention is, oh, just those... for coming is over here. May I say you're looking particularly... Help me with my husband or I will nut you. <laughs> you know what? Country folk know as, uh, the madness. The what? The madness! Yeah, yeah, so you said, but what is the madness? His entire soul has been engulfed by the unutterable boredom of the great British countryside. <laughs> the madness settles upon the sufferer like a maiden's tear on a silken kerchief. I've seen it before, and it's not pretty. Oh, God. I'm going to phone a hospital. I'd advise against that. Why? It's 35 miles away. Well, we can drive there. And it's shut in 1963. <laughs> oh, God, well, that's it, then. it will have to go back to London. What a crying shame. What a crying shame when you say I that... don't say I look beautiful when I'm angry. I wasn't going to. Oh, God, look at him. Now he'll be all right. Just leave him. No, if this carries on, he'll have to go back to the city. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That'll be the best place for him, you see. Oh, Justo's got what we can't.